Hi everybody, we're just going to do a quick one about leaf marks, which is a very common problem. So leaves, when they fall from a tree and land on your nice porous uh, concrete paving or your terracotta or whatever it is that you have outside, um, the leaves have gum in them. They actually have two problems. They have, you know, sap in them, I guess, or gummy stuff. Some leaves that will leach out the material slowly if the leaf sits there for days and days and weeks and weeks. The, uh, that the that sap will come out of the leaf and get sucked into the pores of the material and cause a brown mark, um, which may, can be quite difficult to remove. Um, it's got a second problem as well that the tannins uh, in that leaf sap are um, can be acidic, and if you have a material that's acid sensitive, which includes some concretes and certainly materials like travertine and marble and limestone, which are very acid sensitive. Uh, then it can also uh, cause an etch mark, so it can actually uh, dissolve some of the calcium material and cause an actual physical mark, um, and uh, which will also lead, lead the, the sap to go deeper into the material, and it can be quite a difficult mark to remove. Now, uh, uh, the, uh, the thing is, again, prevention is always better than a cure, so it's a very good idea, idea to uh, to seal your paving with a very good impregnating sealer, preferably a dry treat sealer, because using our permanent technology is going to actually stop you from having to redo it every couple of years, especially outdoors where UV light will break down most uh, penetrating sealers quite quickly. Um, so, but here's the thing the penetrating sealers are still breathable, what they call breathable, this word that everybody says, but the uh, 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 what that actually means is that it leaves the pores of the material totally open. It doesn't, doesn't work by blocking up the pores and stopping stuff going in and staining. It works by repelling. Uh, they're usually made to repel water or to repel water and oil. So now this leaf sits on there and it is the sap inside, it is water-based, and it will stop the sap from the leaf from going into the material for a period of time. Again, it's just a little repelling force keeping the sap out of the pores. Um, and if that leaf sits there for weeks and weeks and weeks, it will still slowly start to penetrate into the material eventually. Um, won't go in as far and it'll be easier to remove. Um, also, outdoor materials to be non-slip usually tend to have uh, a texture to them, so they're usually quite rough. And the problem is that sap, even though it's not going into the pores and causing what we would call a stain, it will still ooze out and sit in that texture of the material and be quite hard to to remove, but you will find if you've treated it with an impregnating or penetrating sealer, it'll certainly be easier to remove, uh, much easier to remove with the right material. You want to use something alkaline. Uh, Dry Treat has a specific product called OxyCleanser, which we would recommend for leaf marks. It's a uh, an oxygen and alkaline cleaner. It's actually a 100% pure and it's in a powder form, so it's very useful for leaf marks. You can mix a little bit of the powder with water into a, into a sort of a paste and just put a splodge of it on top of the leaf mark and let it sitting there, sit there for as long as you like, an hour or two, and then give it a little scrub and rinse it off and your leaf mark should come right off.